All right, everyone, we're back at Golf Tech headquarters here. Today, we've got Connie helping us out. We're going to talk about our three most draw bias drivers in 2024. And some of these are going to be draw because of where some of the center of gravities are located. We measure all these different drivers. But there are some other features in there as well, too. Just some, some closed face that could be built into the drivers, maybe how upright they are. Uh, we'll take a look at some numbers, but really we'll then want to get some feedback from Connie here as well, too. Uh, really just what she thinks about the drivers, you know, good or bad. We did this a couple years ago, so now we're just uh, talking about the new models. So, uh, this is not meant to be a fitting. We've pretty much have these set up with a 65 gram stiff shaft, 10, 10 and a half degrees, depending on the model. So, Connie, first one up, uh, going to be our Mizuno ST Max. And normally when we talk about uh, Mizuno, we're not thinking woods. Uh, so, tell me what you think about that one first, just the looks, and then we'll get into kind of the nitty gritty with uh, some of the tech pieces of it. Yep, yeah, so first of all, obviously from the top down, the visual looks of it uh, looks very different. It's got okay. a very, uh, it's got obviously the black here, and it's almost like a composite graphite look in the back there. Yep. Uh, it's pretty cool, I think. Um, also looks very deep as well. The face there is very deep. Yeah, and it's def definitely a deeper design. So you hit on two key points really with uh, the Mizuno. Let me grab it actually back from you real quick. So we do have the composite uh, both in the rear part of the skirt on both the top as well as the bottom, and then that allows them to save some weight, which then they put farther back in the head, to your point, making it a little bit of a deeper look. Uh, the CG with that one, let's go ahead and actually hit a shot. And with this particular model, we've got the CG about two millimeters into the toes. So it's really, or excuse me, into the heel. So it's really just getting on the edge of what we'd start calling uh, a draw biased model. Um, really, this one's a little more on the forgiving side than the other ones we're going to hit. So MOI is around 5,200, so pretty high. But let's go ahead and uh, knock one out there, Connie. And then as we watch this one fly, again, give me a little bit of your initial reaction on, again, the, uh, the one swing test. So hopefully it draws nicely That's done. That's a beautiful draw right there. So what do you think of that one? Again, talk about one shot, but sound, feel, give me some feedback. Uh, it's a very dull sound. Okay. Um, and it's also very soft off the face. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very different feel to what I'm normally used to, or I normally play a Callaway driver. So it's a very different feel. Um, I actually like it a lot. Yeah, and this is something we tend to see with really any kind of composite driver. Whenever you start adding that composite material, it changes some of the, the vibrations in the head, which then turns into feel, uh, as you mentioned, and the sound piece as well, too. So, uh, next up, let me trade you out. So now we'll get into maybe something that's a little more familiar to you in a Callaway. We're going to go with our AI Smoke Max D, so the Max Draw model. And what's interesting about this one to me is usually whenever we have draw models, they put the weight in the heel. Uh, we actually don't see that. We do see the weight is in the rear skirt of the club. There is some internal weighting in the heel to, to help it make uh, uh, some draw bias aspects to this. And again, on this one, MOI is coming in around 5,200. So it's pretty high for a draw driver. And you can actually see we still have this one marked. CG's right there. It's probably about four millimeters into the toe, or excuse me, into the heel. Heel drivers, uh, heel biased uh, CG's are what help make these guys draw. Uh, but a full composite body, very similar in that regard uh, to the Mizuno. And probably the biggest difference, or one of the big differences, I would say, in this one, and you can go and get a, get a swing with that, Connie, as we, you know, we chat about it. Okay. One of the biggest differences with the AI Smoke this year is the uh, total elimination of the jailbreak technology. Um, just some testing they did, and some of the new design features they've put into the club heads, they realized uh, they could actually remove the jailbreak, and that would actually then allow them to save a few grams, which they could then position somewhere else. So again, one-shot test. What do you think? Looks, feel? I know it's probably more familiar to what you're used to. Yeah, um, not as soft as the uh, as the Mizuno Club. There. Okay. Um, comes off a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. um, I do like that feel a lot more. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, I, I, I play a calorie driver, so. Yeah, yeah. So this is a little, little closer to home for you, what you're uh, used to having in, in the past. Yep. Excellent. Now, we did see that one's pretty much straight. I mean, technically, it fell. 44 RPM size into the right. That's going to be just a block when yeah. you're out there uh, playing little for real. Little heel shot there, but still pretty straight. Yeah. yeah, and that's a great point you make there. Even hitting it a little bit off the heel, which because of the gear effect, the twisting of the head, 
uh, with a more neutral club, that would be a shot that would tend to fade a little bit more. But even when uh, Connie did hit that one a little bit off the heel because of some of the design features, it basically went straight. Yep. Let's get one more then. So the most draw bias driver we have, uh, at least as far as some CG locations. So we have the Ping G430 Max, but this one is the SFT. And the cool thing about the SFT is uh, like all the 430s, except for maybe the Max 10K, it does have the adjustable weight in the back, but you basically go from draw to super draw. And we set all these up today to be in the max draw setting. Uh, so this one, again, has the CG right around four millimeters into the heel. Uh, again, very similar to what we saw with uh, the Callaway. Biggest difference on this one as far as the design from the last two, I'll click on that up here, is this one is uh, just all titanium. So we do not have any kind of um, composite materials in this one. So. Typically, that's going to yield maybe a little bit louder uh, sounds whenever you hit it. Uh, but let's put it down. Give me your looks, Connie, as far as looks good, looks bad. Definitely a little busier crown than maybe some of the other ones. Oh, yeah. Definitely um, a lot chunkier okay. would be the word I would use. Very technical terms. Very, yep. Yeah. Uh, also very deep, like the Mizuno one. Okay. Um, and like you're saying, the ping goes ping, right? Pings are really always going to be some of the most forgiving drivers, uh, and then typically, again, going to be long enough to play the games. So when we do some of the distance comparison tests, they're always right there neck and neck, uh, but they're always some of the straightest drivers. And then this one, again, if uh, your problem for not hitting a straight is slicing it, this is definitely one that you should check out. But let's hit it and uh, see what happens with this one, Connie. All right. So Ping G430 SFP. Again, 10 and a half degree. There we go. Oh, that's the That was a little bit more what we saw last time we did this test, right? So it did push. It started, uh, where's our push on there? It started one degree to the right. So technically it's a push draw, a uh, push power draw. But again, if your problem is that shot but to the right, you definitely owe your, to yourself to check out the Ping uh, G430 SFT. Or honestly, any of those would be a perfect match for you uh, if you're just going to walk in and grab something off the shelf. But if you want to do it the right way, uh, where should you go, Connie? Go to the nearest golf tick. I would log on to golftech.com and find that local golf tech near you.